Fluffies! Welcome back to Pink Stylist Plays. Today's game is called Peter's House. This is one of the newest games that have been released on Itch.io this week. As always, I know nothing about it, but let's give it a go. Uh, boop. Oh, hello. Steve! Phone rings. I can't say the name Steve without thinking of the monkey from Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Just like, Steve! Anyway, phone rings. Hello, this is Steve from Able Movers. How can I help you? Hi, Steve. This is... <laughs> <laughs> Great start. This is Peter. I need help with moving some boxes tonight. Oh, look at his face! Oh, I already just realised that. Oh, God, I was so focused on Steve that I didn't notice the grin. Um, so, Steve, sure, we can definitely help you with that. Can you give me a bit more information about the job? Yeah, I have a few boxes that I need to move on my new house. I'll be out tonight, so the door will be unlocked. Smart. Okay, I can come over tonight and take care of it. Can you give me your address? Okay, Peter, sure, my address is 619 Main Street. Steve, <laughs> great, I'll take care of everything. Is there anything else you need from us? No, that's all. Thank you so much, Steve. You're welcome, Peter. Have a good night. You too, thanks again. Oh, they're so polite. Oh, we're just going to start. Okay, so interact and release. Okay. Oh, look at it. Okay, this is nice. Oh, so which door goes where? Righty dokey. Oh god! Oh hello! I can't leave yet, I need to move these boxes first. <gasps> look! Can you look at the face! Oh, I'm just gonna close that. So someone's watching. So what do I do? That that's really annoying. I know it's it's fairly basic in terms of graphics, but that's so annoying. Where is the light fixture? Where is the light coming from? <sighs> Stop picking holes in it, Charlie. It's a game. Oh. Okay, so I know this is a nursery with a cross on the wall. Lovely. Uh, oh, another one. Hello. Do do I unpack things? Can I unpack things? Oh, this one says it must go to the baby's bedroom. Well, I was just there, so um, let's do that. Where do I put it? Can I put it in there? Oh. The bloody hell. Oh, hello. Oh, can I turn it? Oh, I can turn it off. I think fuck for that. I don't want to play the whole game with that in the background. Um, I can... Okay, so it has to go there. Okay, so... Do we just do that? Because I can do that. This one says it must go in the kitchen. Where is the kitchen? A bedroom, another cross. Not very kitcheny. Ah, okay, so there's a fridge, so definitely a kitchen. Now we're cooking, now we're moving. Come on, Charlie, let's get grooving. I don't know why I said that. I'm really sorry. <laughs> the problem is, for once, I've actually had quite a lot of sleep. So, um, this is me. <laughs> god damn it. Oh, God. So, where was I meant to take that? This one says it must go to the living room. Okay, so the living room is here with the TV. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, this one doesn't say what it needs to go to. Maybe I should open it. Oh, I think we're the mover, though, aren't we? We shouldn't do that. Okay. Oh, is that blood on the knife? Well, I, I did choose to look at it, didn't I? Oh! The Betrayal of a Friend, Part 1. I never should have told my best friend about my wife. It was a moment of carelessness, a slip of the tongue. But what did it matter? He was just another person in my life who didn't understand me, who couldn't comprehend the power that I held. When he asked where she was, I casually replied that she was buried. He laughed it off, not realising that I was dead serious, but I knew I couldn't take any chances. Oh God! I excused myself to go to the bathroom, but instead I went to the kitchen and found a sharp knife. It was easy enough to sneak up behind him and plunge it in his back. Oh God! He let out a pathetic gasp before crumpling to the floor. I felt nothing as I watched him bleed out. He was just another obstacle that I had to remove. Another person who didn't belong in my world. Oh, I could have done without reading that. Well, that can just go back on the floor, can't it? Yes, it can. Yeah, I'll just leave that there, shall I? Oh, God. The kitchen. 
can hear footsteps. Is that... Oh, they're not there anymore. Oh god, they're not there anymore. Oh no. So where were the footsteps? Oh, I didn't actually remember what it said. Kitchen is... Oh no. Oh, it's another room! Okay, bathroom. That's fine. I know that. I'm, I don't like the fact there's windows in this. It's just me, someone standing there looking at us, isn't there? Yeah, that box can stay there. This one says it goes to the bedroom. A click. Wait, am I the moving person? Because so far I'm not doing much. I'm just moving them from room to room. I guess that's fine. I've always someone's watching us. I do quite like games like this though. This one doesn't say, oh god. A journal and some wedding rings. Uh, the end of a marriage. I couldn't believe it when she threatened to leave me. After all I've done for her, she had the audacity to suggest that we should separate because of a silly little dog. It's not like I did anything that bad. Sure, I killed it. Oh god. But it was barking too loudly and it was really starting to piss me off. I've got my windows open, you know. People are going to hear me saying this. And it's not like I haven't killed small animals before. No! Pigeons, rats, what's the difference? But she couldn't handle it this time. She caught me in the act holding the door. I don't want to read this. I, I don't want to read that part. Oh, God. I couldn't let her leave me. I had to make her understand that I was in control. Now, whenever I look at that ring, I'm reminded of how powerful I am. Oh my fucking god! No! Oh no! It says a lot about a person, you know. It's like a lot of people tend to have the same views. Oh look, the non-light is flickering. Um, like, anyone is usually happy to watch a horror movie and, well, not necessarily happy, but see things happen that are gross and all that kind of stuff. But, the second they see a poor fluffy animal get hurt in any way, we're all on the same page. We None of us want to see that. So why would they put it in a game? Oh. It's why I steer clear of games that are like centred around fluffy pets. Because I know if it's a horror game, it's not going to end well. So I just don't play those. So no, it'll upset me. Kitchen, okay. So the person that lives here isn't a nice person. Clearly! Oh look, you can actually see through it. I didn't realise that. Can you see through all of them? I don't know. That's fine. Probably best not to get clo too close to them anyway. Uh, right, we're nearly done. Uh, bedroom. Ugh. Oh, that's baby's room. Okay. I don't like this. Um, baby's bedroom. Otherwise known as a nursery. <laughs> Boop. Okay, so next. Uh, bathroom. With no sink. Gross. Not a sink in the kitchen either, even worse. Uh, okay, so. Thank God. I don't want to read any more of these. It's going to upset me. Bathroom. Oh, why is there so much shit to go in the bathroom? Ha <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, living room. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Glasses. And a journal. Okay, so this can't be too bad, surely. The Snoop, part one. I was surprised I had covered my tracks, but her sisters were getting suspicious. One of them came to speak to me in person, sensing that something was not right. Really? Really? <sighs> she kept prying and asking too many questions, so I had to take action. I couldn't risk her snooping around, so I had to think fast. I tried to convince her that my wife was away on a trip and wouldn't be back anytime soon, but she wasn't buying it. She started getting too close, asking too many questions. In a moment of frustration, I grabbed a heavy object and struck her over the head. Her glasses flew off her head. She crumpled to the floor, groaning in pain. She lay there, gasping in air, grasping at her throat. I could feel her struggling beneath me as I squeezed the life out of her. It was a small victory. Oh! 
Mm, put the box down. I think I'll just leave this here. Yes, I think we shall. Done, done. I think we're done. Can we go now? I think we're done. Yeah, all that work made me thirsty. Wait, I should go and get something to drink before I leave. Or we could just fucking leave. Hmm, I bet he wouldn't mind if I take some of this juice. I just heard the door open. Oh, the bathroom door's closed. Door's locked. Oh shit. Bye. Bye 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 bye. Oh, they're all closed. Bye. Bye. Oh god. Oh no 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 no. Oh. Oh. Oh! It's a face! <laughs> Is this real? Fuck, it smells horrible. I swear. The Vanishing Act, part one. We're just gonna stand here and read this where someone's casually shitting in our toilet. Or someone else's toilet. I have no idea. I have wait. It was only a matter of time before someone realised that my wife and her sister was missing. My wife's other sister, the one I had spared, had grown suspicious and went to the police. I knew I had to act fast. I packed my bags and left town, but I knew it wasn't enough. The detectives would come looking for me, asking questions I couldn't answer. So I came up with a plan. I knew that I couldn't just disappear and hope for the best. I had to make it seem like I was a victim too, that I had vanished alongside my wife and her sister. It was a risky move, but I was confident that it would work. Oh my god, did we cut our own face off? Oh god. I began by staging a break-in at our home. I smashed a window and ransacked the place, making it look like someone had broken in and taken us all. I left a few items of clothing behind, along with some other personal touches to make it seem more convincing. Then I disappeared. However, to ensure that no one gets too close to me, I started learning how to spike drinks with drugs. Although I do not condone this behaviour, it makes me feel powerful. Says the murderer slash dog killer. Oh my god. Um, I'm gonna put that there. Yeah, I think I'll just leave. Huh? Can I go this way, please? What, what, what is happening? <laughs> I guess we're just gonna do this. Oh, I don't like it. Oh. I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. Oh. Oh. Okay. What's ringing? There wasn't a phone though. Oh. Oh no. Shit, the lights are out. I hope my phone's battery didn't die. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, I hate this. What the? Why is he on the ceiling? What? Oh look, he's still going in the fridge. There's a gross smell coming from there. I don't dare to open it. Well, we're happy to drink from it. Where's the phone? Can we leave now? Oh my god. Oh, look at the crosses. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I don't like it. Oh! Piss off! Go away. There's another door here now. There wasn't a door here before. Hello? Hello? Oh, this is going to be great. I know it. Oh. The back rooms-esque. Hello. Hello. What do you want from me? <laughs> Your job was to just move the damn boxes, not to open them. I'm sorry. I was curious. Oh, hello, friend. Am I going to die now? Oh. You shot me. Oh my god! Oh my god! That was... Oh! Was that good? I think it was good! I, I'm... 
<laughs> okay, so it was really good for atmosphere. The story kind of freaked me out a little bit. Like, I usually, like, dealing with, like, spookies is one thing, but dealing with, like, a mass murderer in that, that, that just, too spooky and too real, thanks. Mm. <laughs> Okie dokie, Fluffies. Well, if you wanted to play this for yourself and see if there are any other different endings, please do and please let me know. The link will be in the description bar below, as always. I, myself, am now going to turn this off and go and watch a nice, lovely, fluffy movie, because, oh, <laughs> shit. Okay, Fluffies, well, thanks for watching. Until the next video, awesome possum. <laughs> Bye, Fluffies. Oh.